This is the second part of our short films about dry skin and eczema. The first film was all about moisturisers or emollients, which, as I hope you've picked up, are the most important treatment. This film is about steroid creams because sometimes flare-ups or more severe eczema need something extra as well. Steroid creams are anti-inflammatory and settle redness and soreness quickly. They come in smaller tubes of 30 or 60 grams and also come in different strengths, mild, moderate and strong. The mild steroid cream we use the most is called hydrocortisone and this can also be bought over the counter. Moderate steroid creams include Umavate and Clebetazole, while the strongest creams are Betnovate, Dermavate and Clebetazone. Unlike moisturisers, steroid creams need to be used sparingly and only once or twice a day. Using them more often doesn't make them work better or faster, it just increases how much steroid is absorbed into the body. Steroids do have side effects and for skin, the main side effect is a permanent thinning or atrophy of the skin when used for long periods of time. For this reason, don't use any steroid creams on the face or genital area where the skin is already very thin unless a doctor advises you. So in the morning before we're getting dressed we put on just a general moisturiser um, and we do the same thing again at, at least once more. Um, so we always do it before bed um, and we do it again in the middle of the day sometimes. And then he has a steroid cream um, and another one for particular patches that look like they're getting worse than the rest of his skin. Um, he tends to get ones up here on his shoulders particularly. Um, so I put it on those patches every couple of days to sort of keep yeah. those from flaring yeah. up and getting any worse. And we're just kind of in that routine now where we, we keep an eye on it all the time and we can keep it under control. As a guide, steroid creams should be measured in fingertip units. Squeezing the cream out of the tube from the tip of your index finger to the first crease is a fingertip unit. For an adult, one fingertip unit will cover both sides of one hand. Two units would cover one foot. Three units would cover one arm. Six units one leg. Seven for the chest and abdomen. And seven units for the back and buttocks. You should obviously use less than this for a child or smaller adult. At first, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to make his skin better. Um, whereas now we're in a routine, we've got some creams that work and I know if, if they seem to stop working or something happens, then I can just pop back to the doctor and we'll try something else and we can work together to sort it out. Obviously he's got chicken pox at the moment, so it's a little bit worse, but I know that'll pass and we, we've stuck to our routine, put a bit more moisturiser on him. We know what to do, we know which creams to use. So I feel much more confident now. In general, once the flare-up has settled, reduce the strength of the stronger cream to a milder one for a few days. Then wean the mild cream down to once a day for a few days, then alternate days for a week, and then stop. Keep going with plenty of moisturiser as we explained in the first part of the film. Some people find they can keep their skin under control using their moisturiser all the time but adding in steroid creams just once or twice a week. So just to recap, always use moisturising cream. When needed, steroid creams can be used in addition to this, they don't replace the moisturiser. If you've been given different strength creams, use the strongest one till the skin settles. Then reduce the strength to use the milder creams weaning those down till you can either stop them altogether or maintain your eczema control with a bare minimum of cream. We hope this information has been helpful. We've got some useful information leaflets on the surgery website and also on the surgery app available to download now. Thanks for watching.